Hello and welcome to the Pin Man. Today, I want to show you this pin that I have been waiting to get my hands on for uh, quite some time. This is the Pilot E95S. Now, I reached out to about three different retailers and even Pilot Corporation as to the significance uh, the nom nomenclature, the E95S, as far as what the uh, what each element meant, and nobody really could give me much of an answer. I already knew that the E stood for uh, elite, and the reason why it is just E in some markets, like the Americas, is uh, due to trademark infringement uh, situations. So. Uh, so they just went with the E. But in Japan and perhaps some other uh, Asian markets, it is the Elite. Okay, as far as the 95 and the S, I have no clue <laughs> as far as what that means, except that maybe a model number or you know just a particular model number that they ended up giving this pin. If I end up finding out something more, uh, maybe I'll do a short on that. The E95, I, I'm just going to call it the Elite. It, um, it retails for around $144. That is up. I've, I've noticed a, a pretty decent increase in prices of a, a lot of pins that uh, really the prices of, of these pins have stayed pretty uh, level for quite some time and they've uh, just recently gone up I, I think uh, like the pilot a23 went up it finally went over three hundred dollars so anyway there you have it um, not the cheapest but for a gold nib that's a pretty good price for this pen okay the body of this pen is a resin and this particular pin is what they call the burgundy and ivory, although I, I would call this almost a, uh, a very light gold. But um, the, the body or the, the cap, I'm, I'm thinking it's, it's either aluminum or brass. It's very lightweight, uh, but uh, it, it's sturdy enough, so it's probably uh, brass. Uh, anyway, the shape is uh, pretty much as you can see, it's a little bit wider in the middle and then tapers off uh, to both ends. The finial is, you know, pretty flat. It's just slightly rounded, if you can see that, but uh, nothing, nothing fancy there. The clip is a rocker clip or a spring-loaded clip, and uh, it's pretty nice. I like it. It's firm, not too firm. The band there is just 20, is just a 24 karat gold band, and the plating on the clip as well is uh, 24 karat. Just has this uh, little bit of facet going on there, and then it says Pilot on the end of it. Moving on down, and you see the E uh, plated there with the rest of this uh, kind of fancy gold plating. And then the E, of course, is for Elite. And then turn it around, keep everything in focus here. Then you just have Pilot Japan. And that's it. Coming to the body finial. Uh, much like the cap finial is uh, pretty flat, just slightly rounded and nothing fancy. Now the shape of this pin, this is a pocket pin. It was first introduced in the 60s, 1960s, and then I believe revamped in the, in the 70s a little bit, but um, you know, it's gone through some, some upgrades. And the nib, I'll go ahead and pull that out. The nib is a 14 karat gold nib. So for $144, you're 
you're getting a gold nib. Now it's, it's only 14 karat, uh, but it's still uh, a good price on the what is stamped on the nib is uh, up at the top 14 K and dash 585 that's uh, 585 is the gold content it's 58.5 percent gold I believe and then underneath that it says pilot and then medium and then Japan and then it says P922. I'm not sure what the P stands for. It may be pilot. Uh, but the 922, I believe that means that, that represents that this pin was manufactured in September of 2022. So uh, that's about as much as I could find on the internet as far as what that means. The uh, again, the shape of this pin uh, basically mimics the shape of the whole pin, uh, the shape of the body, I mean, and it's a little bit wider here at the band. It has this 24 karat gold plated band there in the middle, and then it tapers down just uh, slightly, and then as well over here. So even uh, what's, what's interesting is even uh, holding it uh, unposted this pin has a um, you you can still you can still use this pin uh, very well all right open the pin up and it reveals the con 40 that does come with the pin now um, it will also take the pilot uh, cartridges and as you can see, these uh, these sit fairly, you know, pretty deep within the pin there. So all right, screw that back on there. Now this is a a metal thread on plastic thread. The capping mechanism here is it's not. Uh, it isn't a snap cap, and, a, and of course it's not a threaded cap. It's more of a friction, or what I call a slide cap. It's just on the inside there, there are these portions that will grab onto the pin inside there. Let's see if I can get that. And it just, um, you know, it tightens around the body and it's, it does very well. Now, I'm not sure if, um, if it's ever going to mark the body after, you know, so much use. But um, anyway, I haven't found anything at this point. This pin comes in two different styles. It comes in a... Uh, black and gold or, or black resin black cap with the gold uh, trim and gold clip and then this one the burgundy uh, what they call the burgundy and ivory and I think this is the most by far the most popular choice of uh, people uh, for people when they purchase this pen the is it postable of course it's postable <laughs> Uh, and it posts snugly. And what's what's nice about this is that even though it's kind of long, it isn't back weighted at all. It's nice and light. So even though I don't, I prefer to uh, write unposted. I can still use this pen fine. And and again, unposted, it really isn't that bad <laughs> but if you get if you have really large hands yeah this isn't going to work and i and i kind of wondered you know it, even if you made it two to five millimeters more how much better that would make it uh, for people that like it to write with it unposted but again this was you know the vintage <clears throat> style of this pen 
was for a pocket pinch. They didn't, you know, obviously you don't want to get uh, too, uh, too large, so or too long on that. Okay, the body length, tip of the nib to the body finial is 105 millimeters. Uh, capped, it is 120 millimeters. And then posted, it was 100, ah, 147 millimeters. The girth of the pin at its widest point is 12.5. I get my fingers in there and everything gets out of focus. At the widest point, the girth is 12.5 millimeters. The grip section is, I'm going to call it 41 millimeters from this band down to the, the end of the, uh, or the base of the nib. And then the girth, and I'm, I measured it right about here is uh, 10 millimeters so it's got a it's a nice it's a nice size uh, in, in the hand and you know don't you love that inlaid nib what what a nice touch I think the early models have more of a hooded nib but uh, I'm glad pilot went with a, the the uh, inlaid nib is it I just like it the flow of it. I like inlaid nibs. I, my Waterman Karen is is uh, inlaid nib, and I really like it. The weight of the pin, the overall weight, is uh, 14 grams, and then just the body is only eight grams. So uh, nice light weight either way you go, but you, it doesn't feel cheap. Now this this pin just does not feel uh, cheap at all to me. Uh, even with the you know this lightweight cap, it just does not feel uh, cheap at all. Okay, how about some size comparisons? Here we have the Pilot E95S next to the Caveco Skyline Sport. And the Pilot Petite, all three pocket pins. And uh, just for fun of it, I put it next to a Pilot Metropolitan. And here we have them uncapped. Nice uh, stair step there. Even more. And here they are posted. Interesting. Uh, sizes. Uh, the, these two are pretty, pretty close to the same, and the uh, Caveco and the Petite are about the, about the same. I'm going to do something else here. Thought I'd do something a little interesting here and compare the uh, E95S with a Waterman Karen since they're both inlaid nibs. Anyway, so the definite. A size difference so for the pocket you have your uh, elite there and then unposted or uncapped I should say all right there you go there are there's definitely a difference and so obviously writing with the crane is going to be uh, more comfortable that but um, notice this posted they are almost the same. Pull that back there. Very, very close. And so, all right, here's a writing sample of the Pilot E95S. There was a little bit of hard start, but that's just because I've been writing uncapped there. And this is a medium nib. The ink that I am using is Diamine 
crimson. All right, again, flow is nice, very smooth uh, pen. No, no scratchiness, whatever direction you want to write. This is a, this is a wonderful writing pen. It is just so smooth um, for his wetness. Uh, not, not too bad at all. Uh, dry time. Let's let's see a dry time. Do, 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 do. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, five seconds. This thing is this thing is dry. Okay. How about uh, line variation? Yeah, you can get some out of that. Um, but again, it's a softer nib, so you want to be careful that you don't bend it out of. Bend it out of shape, mess up those tines. Okay, so, but you can get a little bit. Um, I'm just trying to. Yeah, you can get a little bit out of there. Okay, how about reverse writing? Not so good. <laughs> Let's see, if I increase the angle. All right, this pin does not, let me. Try to get some ink flowing there, see what happens with that. Yeah. No, nope. it's a scratchy and it just does not do it uh, for reverse writing. So for those of you who've got to have a reverse writer, uh, it won't do it. As you can pretty well tell, uh, my feelings for this pen is a Big smiley. It was definitely worth the wait as I had to uh, kind of save up for this. Actually, I got this, uh, this pen thanks to the local court and that uh, I had jury duty for a week. And so um, they give you a little, little bit of, not much, uh, especially considering the time you put in, but a little stipend. And so I said, okay, I am going to treat myself to a nice pen, and this is the one I chose because I've been waiting a while. So, Alrighty, likes and dislikes of this pen. Well, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, go through the con first. What I, what I, and it's not really a con because I still can use this pen fine unposted, but I just wish that they would. You know, if they could go like two millimeters more, it would just make that much difference um, for when you're when you're writing unposted. If you like to write unposted, and again, the weight isn't bad. So for long writing sessions, uh, posted is is fine. I like the visual appeal. I call this versatile luxury. It is a pocket pen, so it's versatile and that this cap is not going to come off in your pocket and so you can throw it in your pocket and take it with you wherever you go. Uh, I, I like this what I would kind of consider an art deco style of design there on the band uh, with the E and then the, the band itself is just uh, you know harkens back to that to that era. Uh, so uh, you know, the design is just great. The 14 karat inlaid nib, I, I love the look of that nib. I don't think I ever showed you the back there, uh, it, which is another uh, pro uh, for this pen. As you see, there's your, there's your air hole for when you're, uh, you're suction, you know, sucking up your ink. And uh, most of the time you're, the hole is way up here, and so you have to dip uh, your nib way into uh, the ink, but not with this. It's just that much. So you're really not getting ink uh, too much onto the body of your pen there. So that's, that's good. The slide cap or friction cap, however you want to describe that, is really nice. I mean, it is, it is smooth, uh, but it is... Uh, firm so it's going to hold it there and it's just as firm 
on the uh, when it's post uh, when it's capped as well as when it's posted so it posts deep enough there to give it a good good grip the weight of the pin is uh, light uh, but not too light even posted there's no back weight uh, to it so it posts uh, well so even for those of us who prefer to write unposted uh, for me anyway this is uh, very comfortable to write uh, posted and I've alrighty well I appreciate you watching and I hope this has been enjoyable to you and go out and get you a pilot E95 S as you are able. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.